Two young men with lives interrupted on the verge of their big dreams and two big league sports teams who wanted them to know they're not alone. Ryan Owens has this story. Buddy Lamoth's arm powered his high school team to a state championship. In college, this closer was throwing 95 miles an hour. Just this little bit, and he, my arms are shaking. I don't know if you can tell. Last month, tough. Buddy was paralyzed in a swimming this. accident. All I can remember was screaming, you know, my neck was broken and I couldn't feel my legs. Doctors told him there was a 5% chance he'd ever walk again. It was tougher to hear that I won't play baseball again than to hear I won't walk again. Which is why a phone call came out of left field. I said, you do know about his injury, don't you? <laughs> It was the Houston Astros. They knew and drafted Buddy anyway. It is America's game and we take care of each other. As improbable as Buddy's journey here to the big leagues may sound, he's not the only one on it. Another paralyzed player was drafted this season. <laughs> the Texas Rangers picked Jonathan Taylor, who collided with a teammate and broke his neck in March. Now that's my goal is to get back on my feet and play baseball because that's what I care most about. Are you ever going to take the jersey off now? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this weekend, the scout who discovered Buddy brought him the jersey he'd always dreamed of wearing. Every time I look at this jersey, it makes me realize what, I, what it used to feel like to play. And he's confident one day he will take to this field. But if he can't, the Astros hope to find another spot for him with the team. I know his resolve. I know what he wants, and uh, I'm all hoping and praying that it happens. Until the day they say, you are never going to walk again, I'm not going to stop trying. Don't count this closer out. Ryan Owens, ABC News, Houston.